Lady Colin Campbell claims Prince Charles love-bombed Harry and Meghan in his first speech as King today. In scenes shown around the world, the 73-year-old addressed the nation following the death of his mother, the Queen on Thursday. During his speech, the father of two announced he was giving new titles to William and Kate, but then said, I want also to express my love for Harry and Meghan as they continue to build their lives overseas. Lady Colin thought thus was a clever tactic, adding that she thought the couple had no further role to play in the royal family. Speaking on GB News she said, I thought he was also brilliant in the way he love-bombed Harry and Meghan, and made it absolutely clear that they have no parts to play. And I know they don't want to have a part to play but I don't think Terry's much of a way back for them, even if they did want to have a part to play. It's a very difficult situation for the family and it's a very difficult situation for the father. You know, if you love your son, you don't want to have to cut him completely off. And I think it's the way he handled things was very decorous, delicate but firm. I was very impressed with the tone of his speech, and all of the main bullet points. He ticked every box. The Duchess of Sussex was set to appear on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and also had plans to visit the UN General Assembly in Manhattan with Prince Harry, but both engagements have now been cancelled, according to sources. The release date of the next episode of Meghan's hugely popular bombshell podcast, Archetypes, has also been delayed. Harry wasn't at his father's inauguration at St. James Palace today, but King Charles signed the declaration which officially makes him the new monarch using ink from a pot gifted to him by both his sons. During the meeting, Charles had to sign two copies of the declaration, which he did using a fountain pen with black ink from a small silver vessel. The heartfelt gesture comes after of months of tension between Harry and his father and brother. In his bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, he accused Charles of cutting him off financially and reckoned William was trapped. This weekend, the Daily Mirror and Sunday Mirror celebrate the life of Her Majesty the Queen with a commemorative special filled with all the key moments from Britain's longest training monarch. Be sure to pick up your copy of the Daily Mirror and Sunday Mirror to get both pullouts. You can leave your tributes to Queen Elizabeth II here.